Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about allergies. So allergies are a variety of hypersensitivity reactions which are caused by allergens which don't normally cause an immune response in a healthy individual. Uh, the clinical presentation of an allergic reaction or the symptoms of an allergy are basically due to the key players in inflammation and those are immunoglobulin E, allergen which is an antigen which initiates an immune response, mast cells, eosinophils and inflammatory cells. Depending on how um, the protein or compound or molecule which you're allergic to has entered the body, you're going to have a variety of different symptoms. So if you have inhaled a protein which you're allergic to, you may have some respiratory symptoms and some cutaneous and gastrointestinal symptoms. So the respiratory symptoms would be wheezing, rhinitis, conjunctivitis and asthma. Rhinitis is inflammation of the mucous membranes inside the nose and conjunctivitis is inflammation of the conjunctiva of the eye. The cutaneous and gastrointestinal symptoms you may have are eczema and oral allergy syndrome. If the allergy is against some kind of food compound which you've ingested, you may have some gastrointestinal symptoms like abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. And the respiratory and cutaneous symptoms may be rhinitis, conjunctivitis, asthma, eczema, urticaria, which is a skin rash, and angioedema, which is a swelling under the skin. You may also have some generalized anaphylactic symptoms as well. Now, if you are allergic to some kind of drug and you've ingested this drug, you may have some respiratory and cutaneous symptoms as well. The respiratory symptoms would be wheezing, rhinitis, conjunctivitis, and asthma. The cutaneous symptoms again would be eczema, urticaria, and angioedema. And again, you may have some generalized anaphylactic symptoms as well. The time course of allergic reactions. So the immediate reaction, um, it's onset within seconds due to a preformed or rapidly synthesized mediator. So if you've already had this allergic reaction before, the mediators may already be preformed or they may just rapidly synthesize. And uh, the response is also vascular permeability and contraction of smooth muscle. The late phase of the allergic reaction would be induced synthesis and release of these mediators again and a recruiting of eosinophils and Th2 lymphocytes and you'll have a second phase of smooth muscle contraction and sustained hyperreactivity.